Bob's topic nine. You have examined a dog named Rico and confirmed that he has continuous heart murmur. You suggest to Amy that you will need to perform both radiology and echocardiography in order to establish the cause of the murmur. Amy asks you, could this explain why he is so skinny and why he sleeps so much? And if you find the cause of the murmur, will it make any difference to Rico's future? I really love him, but I need to know that spending all this money might make a difference. A heart murmur indicates turbulent blood flow. Continuous murmurs are due to blood flowing from a high pressure chamber or vessel to a lower pressure system. Blood carries oxygen to cells and tissues to support their metabolic activity. When movement of this blood is interrupted or when poor circulation occurs, the body will not be able to carry out its normal functions efficiently. To answer your question regarding fatigue and weight loss, whatever is the cause of continuous heart murmur may definitely lead to both these clinical signs being present. When poor circulation occurs, less oxygen as well as essential nutrients that the body requires will be delivered to the muscles. This will cause fatigue. This is often accompanied by muscle cramps and pain in the legs. Some animals will suffer from breathlessness and a lack of stamina. In terms of weight loss, sufficient blood is needed in the liver to boost your appetite. When interrupted circulation occurs, your dog won't feel like eating and over time will start losing weight. Oxygenation of the fetus occurs via blood from the mother's placenta rather than from the lungs. The lungs are not aerated and are therefore collapsed. The ductus arteriosus is a muscular blood vessel that extends from bifurcation of the pulmonary artery to the aorta. When the animal is born, the lungs expand and oxygen tension in the body increases, which stimulates the muscles in the ductus arteriosus to constrict within minutes of hours of birth. When this connection fails to close, it is called a patent ductus arteriosus, or simply a PDA. This PDA produces a left to right shunt of blood, allowing it to go from the systemic circulation to the pulmonary circulation, and a continuous heart murmur will be heard. And I have drawn a diagram here of a PDA. Now normally, oxygenated blood should go up the ascending and down to the descending aorta, down to the rest of the body. However, if there's a PDA present here, some of this blood instead will be shunted back into the pulmonary circulation, and thus depriving many of the body's tissues of oxygenated blood. A continuous heart murmur may also be heard when there is ventricular septal defect. This is irregular communication in the ventricular septum, the wall that separates the two lower chambers of the heart. If there is a hole in this wall, this will cause a right to left shunt. And in this case, surgery is contraindicative and may cause more harm than good. And unfortunately, these cases have poor prognosis. A continuous heart murmur may also be heard when one of the heart valves is not working properly. This is called valvular insufficiency. A heart valve is designed to prevent backflow. Blood can easily be pumped through the valve, but once a ventricle is filled, the valve closes to prevent blood from flowing backwards into the atrium. In the case of mitral valve insufficiency, blood will be regurgitated back into the heart and a continuous heart murmur will be heard. Valvular insufficiency can be congenital, meaning it has been present since birth, can develop with age from wear and tear leading to shrinkage of the valve, and after an episode of bacterial endocarditis. The heart is located deep within the thoracic cavity and is protected by both the rib cage and other organs. This is why you can't simply palpate an animal in order to determine the cause of a heart murmur. And thus I'm suggesting that we perform both radiography and echocardiography in order to determine the cause of the heart murmur. Once the cause is determined, we will decide on a treatment and prognosis of the animal. To answer your final question as to whether spending all this money will make a difference, while unfortunately these tests are expensive, they do provide wonderful information about the structure of the heart, which we need in order to determine what is the cause of the continuous heart murmur. Once we know the cause, we will be able to determine the prognosis of your pet, which we all hope will be a positive outcome.